let's start with work rate today. Even though it's not a difficult topic, many people struggle with it. If you do too, then hopefully you won't after the next one hour. Let's jump in. So we'll start a discussion with a very basic formula. Work done is equal to rate into time. Now, this is the same as distance is equal to speed into time. In fact, distance is equal to speed into time is a special case of work done is equal to rate into time. When the work done is in terms of distance travel, then the rate is in terms of speed. So everything that was applicable uh, in this formula when we discuss the TSD module will also be applicable over here. So we can again say that work upon RT is equal to one, which means that it is a constant. And that is why it's a joint variation expression. So when our time is constant, for example, then we can say that work upon rate is k. That is, work varies directly with the rate. Now, if rate is constant, then work upon time is equal to k. So, work varies directly with time as well, when rate is constant, of course. And when work is constant, then RT is a constant, that is rate varies inversely with time. Now, this is exactly the way uh, we had in the relation of D is equal to S into T. And uh, if you remember, we use these relations quite extensively in our TSD questions. Similarly, we'll use these relations quite extensively in our work rate module, in our work rate video also. And um, th there could be some questions where we need to take a variable, but in most cases, we will not need to. We'll just use the ratios and these variation relations, and we'll be able to get our answer. Let's look at some examples. So on day one, David paints two walls of same size. On day two, he paints five such walls. So the time taken day one and day two. So in each case, he took one day. So that is why the time is a constant. But the work done is not. So he the work done on the first day was two walls. He made two walls, whereas the work done on the second day is five walls. So the ratio of work is two is to five. And since time is a constant, work upon rate is k. That is, work varies directly with k. So then the ratio of the rates in the two cases, r1 by r2, will also be two by five. Or we can write it as two is to five. Now, by what percentage did he increase his speed on day two? So on day one, his speed was two in ratio terms. And on day two, his speed was five. So he increased his speed by three in ratio terms. And if I am to find the percentage of by how much did he increase his speed, we simply have to write three upon two because the base speed is two into 100 as we discussed in our percentages module and this gives us 150 percent so he increased his speed by 150 percent of course do remember that since percentages don't really depend on actual values we can easily find the percentages by just using the ratios we did discuss that ratios and percentages are equivalent concepts right okay let's look at another example an inlet pipe can fill a pot in two hours. How long will it take to fill a bucket that needs water from 24 such pots to fill and is already one third full? Okay, so here, rate, the rate of the inlet pipe is constant, which means that W upon T is a constant. So work done will vary directly with the time taken. Now, we say that we fill a pot, one pot in two hours. So work done is one and time taken is two hours. So then how long will it take to fill a bucket that needs water from 24 such pots, but the bucket is already one third full. Since it's one third full, 
that means that eight such pots full of water it already has. So one third of 24 is eight. So we are left with 16 that need 16 such pots that need to be put in the bucket. Does it make sense that our verb two is 16? Look again in case you're not sure. The bucket needs 24 such pots, but it is already one third full. So one third of 24 is eight pots. So there is already eight pots worth of water in the bucket. And now we have to put in another 16 pots worth of uh, water in the bucket. So now what will be the time? Now, uh, W1 by W2 is 1 upon 16. The ratio is 1 is to 16. So T1 upon T2, the ratio will also be 1 is to 16. So the time taken will be 32 hours. This is the answer. So work is equal to rate into time. Work varies directly with rate. It varies directly with time. And rate and time vary inversely. Recall the concept of effective speed that we did in TSD. So uh, let's say an airplane is moving at a speed of 100 miles per hour and then a wind starts blowing, let's say, at 20 miles per hour and then together in the same direction as the airplane, then the speed of the airplane becomes 120 miles per hour. Or for example, a boat that goes downstream and uh, if the boat speed is say 5 miles per hour and the speed of the stream is 2 miles per hour, then we add the two speeds and we make it seven miles per hour. Now, if the same boat goes upstream and if uh, the boat speed is say five miles per hour and the stream speed is two miles per hour, now the, boat, so the stream is moving in the opposite direction of the boat. So that is why the speeds get, um, you find the difference of the two speeds and you get five minus two, that is equal to three miles per hour. Right, so this is what we discussed in our effective speed concept of TST. Now we have something very similar in uh, work rate also, working simultaneously. Of course, the concept is used a whole lot in work rate, um, but the basics are exactly the same. So we say rates are additive. What this means is that just like we used to add speeds or subtract speeds, rate of work done is we, we add them. Let's say if someone makes two boxes in an hour and another person, let's say, makes five boxes in an hour, then total, how many boxes are they making? Total speed is what? Let's say boxes per hour. Boxes per hour. These are the two speeds. So in the total speed is seven boxes per hour. If both of them are working at making boxes, then they'll be able to make seven boxes in one hour. So we add the rates. Uh, do keep in mind that time taken is not additive. Sometimes a test taker gets confused. For example, they may say like if one person takes two hours to complete a work and another person takes five hours to complete a work, sometimes test takers feel that when they work together, time taken will be seven hours. But that doesn't make sense, right? Because when a person alone makes it in two hours, then with another person helping him, he'll not take seven hours. They'll together take less than two hours, of course. So that is why times are not additive. Rates are additive. So do not make the mistake of adding the times. Okay. Now, when people have the same rate, overall rate of work varies directly with the number of people. So this is just an application of the previous one. When we say rates are additive, now if there are two people and both work at the same rate, let's say R, then they, uh, the effective rate of both of them, that is the total rate of both of them, combined rate, added, added rate, will become 2R. If there are five people and each one has a rate of R, then the total rate will become 5R. This is what we mean by saying that when people have the same rate, overall rate of work varies directly with the number of people. So when the number of people, let's say, become five times, then the rate from R also becomes five R. So rate also becomes five times. That's intuitive, right? Okay, then negative work, the concept of negative work is the same as a boat going upstream. So, you know, when the speed of the stream is subtracted from the speed of the boat because it is reducing it. Similarly, negative work is the concept where, let's say if someone is making, five walls 
in an hour. And there is another person who is breaking two walls every hour. So his rate of work is actually negative. That is, he's breaking two walls every hour. Then this is a concept of negative work. So overall, we'll say that the rate overall will be three walls per hour. Right, so this uh, we'll subtract their rates to get the overall rate of work. So, um, based on these concepts, let's look at some examples. So, one inlet pipe fills an empty tank in five hours, a second inlet pipe fills the same tank in three hours. These are two different uh, pipes, but the work done, the filling an empty tank is the same. So, our work is constant. We are given that the ratio of the time taken T1 by T2 is 5 is to 3, which means that ratio R1 by R2 is 3 is to 5. Let's consider this. When we say that a pipe takes 5 hours to fill one tank, so one tank and the pipe takes 5 hours. So what is the rate of the pipe? One tank in five hours, which means one fifth of the tank per hour. Rate is expressed as the work done per hour. Or in other words, we can say that rate is equal to work upon time. And since work is one, one tank, time taken is five hours. We can say that rate is one-fifth of the tank per hour. Basically, when the work done is one, then rate is equal to one upon T. All right. So now here, we have that the first inlet pipe takes five hours, which means that the rate of the first inlet pipe is one by five tank per hour and a second inlet pipe fills the same tank in three hours so r2 is one by three tank per hour so we have the two rates now if both pipes are used together so basically both of them are working together so then we know that the rates will get added okay so then one by five plus one by 3, which gives us 8 upon 15. They'll do, they'll fill 8 upon 15th of the tank per hour. Great. Now, how long will it take to fill two third of the tank? Now, the work that they have to do is not one. It is two third of the tank. So, the rate, their combined rate, their combined rate is 8 by 15 tank per hour. And the work that they have to do together that is equal to two by three of the tank. So how long will they take? We know that time is equal to work upon rate. So work is how much work do they have to do together? Two by three. And what is their combined rate? That is eight upon 15, which means that when we flip it, we get five by four, five by four hours, which means that in one hour, 15 minutes, they'll be able to fill the tank together, two third of the tank that is together, right? Remember that when the work done is one, then we take rate as one by T because rate is equal to work upon time. Okay, let's look at another example. Working alone at its constant rate, machine A produces X boxes in 10 minutes. And working alone at its constant rate, machine B produces X boxes in five minutes. So they both produce X boxes. One does it in 10 minutes and another does it in five minutes. So time taken is two is to one and their rates will be one is to two. Okay, now how many minutes does it take machine A and B working simultaneously? Okay, so now we have to find their combined rate, their added rate. So what is the rate of one? Since it takes, um, it makes X boxes in 10 minutes, it takes 10 minutes. Let's assume that the rate, that the work of X boxes is equal to one work. It just makes it easier. We just say then that the rate is one upon 10. 
one work upon 10 one per minute, right? We'll use it in terms of minute. Then R2 will be equal to one upon five. Again, because machine B also produces X boxes. And why to deal with X if we can ignore it? We'll just assume that making X boxes is the one work that we are talking about. So one fifth of the work, R2, the machine two does one fifth of the work every minute, so per minute. Now, how many minutes does it take machine A and B working simultaneously? So when we add one by 10 and one by five, we get that R combined is equal to three by 10. Okay, three by 10 per minute. Add their respective con to produce three X boxes. Now the work that we have to do together is 3x and since we said that making x boxes is one work so the work total work that we have to do is three whatever your work is right we considered this to be one work so then this 3x boxes making 3x boxes is three work is three now time taken will be work upon rate and work is three and rate is three by ten which means ten minutes so in 10 minutes, both of them working together will make 3x boxes. Of course, since we saw that the work over here is also in terms of x boxes, we assume that x boxes is one work. Then we didn't have to work with the variable x. So the most important point of work rate is that rates are additive. Time is not, but rates are. So let's say if you and me are working together and we complete one work in an hour, our combined rate of work is one work per hour. Now, if our rates are equal, then your rate is half work per hour and my rate is also half work per hour. But if you are faster than me, then your rate will be more than half work per hour and my rate will be less than half work per hour, but it will add up to give us one work per hour. 